but we're going to start in Taranaki. Spotswood against Inglewood from a very, very nice looking Yarrow Stadium. Once upon a time we called this Rugby Park, but now it's Yarrow Stadium and it looks fantastic. Our man there is Morris West. Welcome to Taradice. New Plymouth's Yarrow Stadium, home of Taranaki Rugby. Well, home for this month, but next month it's going to be the home for the All Blacks when they'll take on the might of the Irish. And of course it will be the Irish home during Rugby World Cup 2011. And there's been a number of changes here take place at uh, Yarrow Stadium. So let's just take a panoramic view around the stadium and just see what they all are. There's not a lot, lot of changes that you'll notice on the main stand, but as we come around to the southern stand, there's of course new seating been put in, all seating up the back. There is further seating to go in across. And as we come around the Noel and Melvy Yarrow stand, there's very little change here. This is all media area at the back and the main filming areas. And then as we come around to the northern stand behind the massive lights, all of this area that used to be just grass has now been put into uh, all seating. And of course, temporary seating will go in as well. And this will become one of the premier grounds for Rugby World Cup 2011. And of course, today we're here for grassroots rugby. And with grassroots, that means senior club rugby. And today we're taking in the game between Inglewood and the local team, Spotswood United. Let's just go and have a look at the uh, Spotswood United club rooms. Yeah, and they're just up on the hill above uh, Yarrow Stadium. Spotswood United, one of the p big performing clubs in uh, Taranaki Rugby. They are a combined club, although they've been combined for a good few years now. In a prime position, right above Yarrow Stadium. Right, we're here now with the uh, Spotswood chairman, Royce Kisby, and uh, life member, Royce. That's right, yeah, I was made a life member of the Star Rugby Club before the amalgamation and obviously carried it through to the Spotswood United. Now, the, the amalgamation, how long ago was that? Uh, this is our 21st year of the amalgamation, so it's our 121st year. So Star celebrated their centennial uh, the year before we amalgamated with Spotswood Old Boys to become Spotswood United. Now, looking through some of those photos out, there's some pretty famous uh, guys out there that have been at the Yeah, we, we've had quite a few um, All Blacks and um, Pacific Island representatives through the club. We had a big Pacific Island base a few years ago, and uh, names like Va Taloki and uh, Valai Turma Piao, Walter Tevi, all represented their, um, their countries internationally. And obviously All Blacks, uh, uh, Andrew Hoare obviously was the latest one and before that, Greg Feek. OK, well here with your good old mate uh, on sideline, Kevin Gledhill. Well, Kevin, come on, get, give us a prediction on today's game. Inglewood or Spotswood? Yeah, it's going to be Inglewood, I think. Inglewood will be uh, too good. Spotswood have had a good season. They've got a good uh, centre, Paul Perez, as we know, but I think Inglewood will come through and win today. Look, Kev, honestly, you couldn't pick a broken nose. It'll be Spotswood all the way, mate. OK, well, that's your call, but uh, as you know, me and you, uh, we go back a long ways and my pick is uh, Inglewood. Yeah, well, you go back a long way if you keep that sort of talk up, buddy. Right now, let's get in and see what the game gives us, OK? OK, well, as the two teams now come to the middle of the park, Spotswood United playing from the right in the red and black, Inglewood in their usual maroon with uh, Chris Morris and the referee about to get the game underway. Yeah, nice steady scrum there so uh, from the Spotswood team. Then onto, oh, cutting out Tambor and on straight onto Perez. Perez cuts through a gap. Beautiful run. He's his chance. He goes around the middle. Oh, it's straight under the post. What a try, Paul Perez. Well, that's the power of the man. What a brilliant run, Kevin. It certainly is. And as I said before, he's the target that uh, Spots would need to get the ball to. It was a straight miss, too. And he just uh, ran through the uh, tacklers that were coming at him from all angles under the post. Great try for Spots with United. Well, let's take another look at that now on the Carter's Rule replay. We'll go right back to the scrum as Lutero feeds and it's straight off the back, out through to Lamert and the cutout pass, which should have taken on Tambor, but straight into Perez. And Perez cuts through one, goes through the tackle inside the 22, round the last man at fullback and in under the post. Great try, Paul Perez. In several uh, penalties at breakdown time, Morris, as I said earlier, and the referee, Chris Morrison, is keeping a close eye on that part of the game. Well, this is straight into the hands of Gush. They haven't found... Uh, haven't found the sideline is out to Darwai. Darwai looks to cut back inside and goes through a couple of uh, tackles, but he's on his he's on his own. This well, this has to be a turnover. Yeah, good turnover by Inglewood there. One of their big forwards got their hands on the ball. Now out through to uh, Rumble. And Rumble finds Naholo. Naholo now with a chance. Naholo cuts inside and ah, oh, Naholo just straight through and in under the post. Well. What a good try there by the Inglewood team, uh, certainly set up by one of their big forwards who ripped the ball off in the contact zone, they moved it short side and then it was left to the big winger to just uh, show his skill, sidestep under the post. 
Yes, well, let's take another look at the on the Carter's Rule replay oh, got, as the breakdown happens there, and it's turned over, <laughs> fared out wide in the holo on the ball straight down the sideline, cuts back inside his man straight in, and he'll head in under the post. <laughs> well, a nice easy try there for Waisaki in the holo. As once again now, Inglewood look to break across the park. It's in there for Perry. Perry finds Hamopa. Well, he looked very quick up through there. On through to Zimmerman, Zimmerman on to Anaha. Now Anaha cuts inside his man, here's a chance. He's got inside, he's got it to Devaha. No, he's taken to ground, beautiful tackle by Spotswood United. Now as they look to go forward, it's on there for Perry. Perry goes open side, but he's dragged down. Up for Zimmerman, Zimmerman out to Burgess. They have to score here as it's on Naholo. This has to be a try. Well, yes, that was just too easy in the end for Naholo, as Naholo gets his second for the day. Yet again, uh, good uh, support play, interpassing from the whole team there, created that try and uh, you know the classy winger was the guy to do it at the end and just under the dot and uh, great try for the Inglewood team but good passing, good communication, well deserved Inglewood. Well I think this goes back to um, Jermaine Anahar when he made that break going across Oh there. indeed, very and physical as, player, as he, we, got, he got across the game line and the momentum just carried on from there Morris. And as we take a look at it now on the... Uh, Carter's rule replay, it's Jermaine Anahar cuts through, cuts back inside his man, goes to ground, feeds it up now, and as it goes across, it's passed out through that back line and then straight into the hands, and they were always going to score there, Burgess onto Naholo, and Naholo straight through the gap in under the posts, his second try of the day. And the conversion successful, and that is half time with... Inglewood leading by 27 points to 17. Well, I've been to games, Kevin, that haven't even been that high at the end. This is a great game to watch and commentate on, and we've been, uh, you know, just, we've been witness to some great uh, skills and some some good rugby played this afternoon on Yarra's number two out here. Oh, it's held there at the back. Perry looking for it, picked up by Anaha. Anaha just goes for the line himself. Dragged down about a metre or so short as Zimmerman looks to drive over. But no, it's still there, just short. Perry finds, looks out wide and finds the number 11. Well, a lovely try there by uh, Pele Siuma Muagututuya. <laughs> and well pronounced, Morris, but getting back to the game for a moment. I, I, I would very much doubt that was well pronounced. <laughs> what, what a great try by the Inglewood team. They uh, moved it um, off the back of the scrum. Uh, Jermaine Unahad had plenty of control there. Then there was another... Pick and go by number seven and a nice flat pass to the winger over in the corner. What a great try. Their line has been pretty secure though and they should uh, retain this ball. But you're right, they, do, they go from the ball being given to them to now a chance for the team opposing them to take it at this line out. But they should secure this ball, which they have, a bit untidily, but they're still in the Very Inglewood's untidily. hands. Now Inglewood going forward. They drive forward at the ruck, getting very close to the line and referee Chris Morrison says try. Not quite sure who to, we'll look and see if we can see someone come up here. Looks like it, Timo Tutavaha, well he may well have scored the first and last tries of the day, I think, Kevin. Yeah, in hindsight, probably a good decision by the uh, captain for Inglewood to have that line out because they knew they had strength there, and if they got their boys rumbling in, they <laughs> just detected a, perhaps a tiring spot for team and they would score the try, which they did. Why don't Inglewood? OK, well let's have a look at that on the Carter's Rule replay as the ball's thrown in at the line out, and then they rumble the ball forward. They, they can taking good control here now and then Tutavaha picks up the ball and gets rumbled forward by the team they're over yes and Chris Morrison says yes that's good enough for me that's a try yes. well yes. good looking kick but uh, just away to the side and referee Chris Morrison says that'll do us for the day with Inglewood running out winners here against Spotswood United by 46 points to 28. Well, 74 points scored, Kevin. Great great days, rugby. Oh, certainly, and uh, plenty of exciting tries by some very skilled players from both sides today. We've been witness to a great game of rugby, 46 to 28. As you say, I mean, what more could you ask for? You come to watch this game and you see a lot of running rugby, a lot of good structure, a lot of good forward play, excellent game, Morris. Right, we'll just have a word with those captains now. Right here now, the uh, Inglewood captain, uh, successful Inglewood captain, Jermaine Anaha. Well, must be very happy with the result. Yeah, very happy, mate. We just wanted four points out of that, eh? And quite stoked in the way we played at times, but still heaps to work on, eh? Yeah, still a bit of concern about the number of points, Joe. You're still letting letting other sides score? Yeah, yeah, like our discipline's been a problem, and just the interpretation of the breakdown, mate. Just th things we're still working on and trying to learn. It's a pretty good game, mate. Take my hats off to the uh, Inglewood boys. They really took it to us up front. Uh, to my boys, you know, we, we work pretty hard in and around that ruck and I think it just zapped too much energy for us. So we'll come along Tuesday and probably work on a bit of fitness 